In the space of just a day, a major escalation that few had expected. Hamas rockets in the skies outside Jerusalem for the first time since 2014. Five of them hit near the Israeli town of Kiryat Anavim. One is confirmed to have hit a house. Another was intercepted by the Israeli missile defense system. To the south in Gaza, the Hamas militant group released a video claiming to show the rockets being launched. In all, more than 40 were fired, most into Israeli communities in the south of the country. And this, an anti-tank missile from Gaza, the Israelis say it hit a civilian car. One person was injured. The situation is and how quick... In Jerusalem, mid-broadcast, the air raid sirens were followed by distant hear, thuds. I can hear now um, quite a few explosions uh, in the distance here in Jerusalem. Extraordinary. Um, and, and here you can see che here cheering from Palestinians. Predictably, Israel was quick to respond and hard. Disturbing images from Gaza show what Hamas says is the result of an Israeli airstrike with three children among the dead. With the closing moments of a day which had begun in the heart of Jerusalem's old city. In the shadow of one of Islam's holiest sites, running battles. Palestinian worshippers at the Al-Aqsa Mosque say they were provoked by Israeli police. <laughs> Whoever started it, the sight of Israeli stun grenades inside the mosque was a provocation in itself. Outside the gate, we watched injured taken away. There were more than 300 wounded by the end of the morning. Some of cases uh, have been transferred to hospital, and some cases need hospitalization still there. OK, and we can, we can see more people here being brought through uh, injured. At times, the Israelis prevented medics from getting access to the wounded, and with no explanation. Clashes were always to be expected on today. The confluence of events means that it is extremely tense with the worst clashes that we've seen uh, for quite a few years. And so now the prospect of another prolonged conflict with the Palestinians. Some people are talking about a third intifada. The third intifada starts. Yeah, it will be continue after Ramadan. By late evening in Gaza, the pain of all this. Images which will embolden and enrage. The Israeli retaliation will continue for many hours, probably days. Mark Stone, Sky News in Jerusalem.